Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do week two weekly check-in of my July 2020 budget. Um, so um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I, I'm gonna lay down my um, expense stickers and then flick to the back of the book and input it into my weekly check-in um, sticker sheet that I have. Um, so I have all of my things wrote out here but I'm probably going to be doing it weirdly because of the way I wrote down my um, transactions this week. So this is my current book that I'm saving my transactions in. I'm just trying it out this way this this um, month. So you can see it's an A4 sized um, file of facts and um, yeah I've just wrote it out. It usually um, I just kind of put in the transactions that I'd done for my um, with my card but I'm using both card and cash now so it's taking up a whole lot more space and it's just showing me how much I actually spent <laughs> um so let's just jump in and see how we got on yeah let's just go for it okay so um first off we have the fifth and the fifth was a no spend day um which was great always a nice way to start off the new the new week at a no spend um so then we move to the sixth so the sixth we had some groceries we had um super value for 10.35 actually i'm just gonna flip this and then zoom you in a little bit like that we had 10.35 in super value and then we also had a little as well for um, 13 euro 70. Um, something else on the 6th was Robert took um, his money out of his cash envelope to get some bike petrol so we have that one and then we move on to the seventh um, and the seventh was a no spend day which is great So that's working out to be a good week with the two no spends there. We move on to the 8th now. So Wednesday the 8th, it was definitely a spending day. Um, first off again, we had some groceries. I went and did um, my main grocery shopping that day in Lidl. Um, and you can see the grocery haul for this. If you're interested in grocery hauls, I'll have it linked below for you. Um, let's see, so that's the 8th, also on the 8th I picked up some um, cream and shampoo for Ava, which comes out of our medical fund, yeah. um, 8th and the 8th, and then I think that's all for this day. Then we go to the ninth. Um, so for the ninth, we have some car maintenance. Um, Robert, last month I was talking about how Robert had bought some stuff, but he had to bring back a part. Um, so now we got a new different part, and it was twenty eight sixty seven. Um, for that, so. That's that one. And then also on the 9th, we had an unbudgeted um, of 2 95 Now, I could have assigned this to somewhere else, but I'm just going to literally say what it was, and it was unbudgeted. Basically, Ava got some ice cream. Also, um, on that day, we got some takeaway. Takeaway? Takeaway. Um, so I think that's all for the night. Um, so then we move on to the tent. And um, the tent we had some groceries in Tesco's. Can't go long without buying some groceries, guys. 
um yeah i think that's everything for the 10th and the 11th um was a i don't actually think i brought out everything for that day have i so first off <clears throat> I went in the morning time and I got my eye test. I had planned to buy new glasses and um, sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, but the lady said that my prescription hasn't really changed. Um, so I just kind of left it with a um, eye test and I'm thinking on the glasses front. Um, also, <clears throat> we paid for... Um, we had to pay with COVID-19, lots of places wanted to pre-book in. Um, so um, we paid for our visit that we actually did on Sunday, but we had to pay for it on um, Saturday. So um, that's kind of what's happening there. Um, also on Saturday, I went and I got petrol for the car. at 21.25 and I think that's everything guys so let's see um, I'm just going to go through my list here put this back out zoom it out a little bit okay so on the 6th we had groceries in Lidl and Super Value um, the 8th we had groceries in Lidl the 6th we had some bike petrol the 8th we had boots um, 9th we had some car maintenance, 10th we had some groceries, the 11th we had car petrol, and we also had the Kildare Maze, um, do, 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 do the 11th I had it, my eye test, um, oh yes we have a bill, so this is my monthly add-on sheet, um, so we had a bill come out on the 11th as well, which is GOMO, which is my phone bill. Um, the ice cream and the dining out. Yes, that is everything. So, as we had two no spend days today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip back here to this page and I'm gonna input in all of those um, expenses. So, um, let's see. Need to get a pen that works. Yeah, okay. So um, what I do in this section is I literally just go through my um, my things and I add them up. So the green ones are for groceries. So we have 13, 70 plus 10, 35 plus um, 51, 80 plus 14, 70, which is 90 euros, 55. So you can see here we had 402 left from last week, which means that we should have um, 311.45 left. So if we go to my grocery, so this is um, my sinking funds and cash envelopes. And this is like a Filofax personal, oh no, where did that fall out from? I don't know. A Filofax personal organizer, a six ring for that. So what I'm gonna do is this. Okay, so um, let's see. So we're looking for 311.45. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Eleven forty-five. No, that's not right. Hold on. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Um, a euro and forty-five there, and then we should have three hundred and ten here. So fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, three. 305, 310, 311, 45. So as always, I'm gonna take away these because I don't wanna keep um, coins in my jar for long, so I'm just gonna put it in there, which leaves us with, um, so that was, I took away 145. So that took away the 145, which left us with 51, 52, 50, 310. So 
So that's good. Let me put that back in here. So then we move on to petrol. So petrol, we had 20 for the bike and 21, 25 for the car, making um, 41, 25. So we had 180 for the month. So 180 minus this 41.25, which means we have 138.75. Now Robert might have took some of his already. No, he didn't, I don't think. So we have 20, 40, 55 there. That's Robert's one. And then if we go to the car petrol for this, I, I will take it out. So we're looking for 138.75, okay? So this is 50, 120, 35, 38.75. So that's exactly how much we have. So I'm just gonna take out this 75 cent and put it away. Um, So that should leave us with 108 euros for 138 euros for the rest of the month. That's exactly what we have. So 20, 40, 55, 65, 85, 135, 138. So that is good. Right, so we put Robert's money back in his own one. And we put the car petrol back in its own one. Okay, so then we move on to eating out. And you can see we did have 1930 in eating out. So we had 80, 20 left. So 80, 20 minus 19, 30, which leaves us with 60 euros, 90 cent remaining. And that's kept in our bank account. And then the last one is unbudgeted and we did have that 295 in unbudgeted. And that is that. So if we just tick off all these to say that we have, um, allocated them where they were supposed to go no so that's it guys that is the weekly check-in for week number two um the 5th to the 11th of july um i want to thank you so much for tuning in today for watching and um for supporting my channel um I will be back in a couple of days with another new video so do make sure you hit the bell button because it will notify you when I upload new videos. Um, that's it guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!